in this video i will show you the operation of transistor or gate if we have an or gate like this with two inputs if at least one of the input goes at logic one our output will be at logic one see this is the truth table zero zero output will be zero zero one at least one of the inputs is one therefore output will be one one zero this is one so output will be one 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 both of the inputs are one therefore our output will be one for the transistor or gate i will denote logic one with five volts supply voltage and logic zero with zero volt supply voltage to understand the operation of transistor or gate at first you have to understand the switching characteristics of a transistor let's say i am applying vcc and this vcc equal to 5 volt between this end of rl to this ground terminal this 5 volt is applied to this collector terminal through this load resistor or collector load rl and we are taking the output from this collector terminal to ground terminal if i apply a voltage let's say v b between this terminal to ground terminal if this VB equal to 0 volt as this voltage is less than built-in potential of the base to emitter junction so this transistor will be in off state when a transistor is in off state its collector and emitter terminals act like an open switch that means I can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal from our given circuit therefore the collector current through this transistor IC equal to zero that means ICRL voltage drop across this load resistor will be equal to zero that means this VCC or this 5 volt will be applied across the collector to ground terminal that means if I apply logic zero at the input I will obtain logic one at the output let's say this VB equal to 5 volt to keep the base to emitter junction in forward bias I have to apply a voltage greater than 0.7 volt as I am applying 5 volt between this terminal to this terminal so base to emitter junction will be in forward bias as I am applying 5 volt at the collector terminal through this load resistor RL therefore our transistor will be in saturation when the transistor is in saturation we say the transistor is in on state its collector and emitter terminals get shorted therefore i will get a saturation current ic set through the collector terminal of the transistor and this ic set will flow through this short circuit or short path and our ie or emitter current will be exactly equal to our I C set see as we have total short circuit between this terminal to ground terminal so our output will be equal to 0 volt when I am applying logic 1 I am obtaining logic 0 this is the switching characteristics of a bipolar junction transistor this is the circuit structure of transistor or gate here we have total three transistors q1 q2 and q3 you will see the collector terminal of transistor q1 and q2 are coupled together and one end of this r1 is connected at this terminal and another end of this r1 is connected to this vcc here we will take this vcc equal to 5 volt and the base terminal of the transistor q3 is connected with the connecting point of the collector terminals of transistor q1 and q2 and see the emitter terminals are directly grounded you will see I will apply logic 1 at this A terminal by specifying 5 volt that means I will apply 5 volt between this terminal to ground terminal for logic 1 or for logic 1 I will apply 5 volt between this B terminal to ground terminal for logic 0 I will apply 0 volt either at A terminal or B terminal that means I will connect this terminal with this ground terminal or this terminal with this ground terminal and I will take the output voltage or output logic from this collector terminal of transistor Q3 
to show you the detail operation of this circuit i will set this circuit in multi sim simulator and explain the logical operation that means for 00, zero i will get 0 zero 01 i will get 1 for 10 zero, i will get 1 and for 11 one one, i will get 1 see this is a circuit structure i have set in multi sim simulator here i am taking bc 547a transistors bc 547a bc 547a and i will show you the output logic from this multimeter now let me consider the first case when both of the inputs will be at logic 0 to do that i will connect this a terminal with ground terminal this b terminal with ground terminal see both of the inputs are at logic 0 now let me run the simulation you will see our output voltage will be equal to minus 3.878 millivolt which is nearly equal to 0 volt this implies that when i will apply logical 0 our output will be at logic 0 now let me describe how does that happen when this a terminal will be at logic 0 and this b terminal will be at logic 0 as the base to emitter junction voltage of the transistor q1 and q2 is less than 0 0.7 volt therefore both of the transistors q1 and q2 will be in off state and when a transistor is in off state their collector and emitter terminal act like an open switch that means i can disconnect this collector terminal of transistor q1 and the collector terminal of the transistor q2 from our given circuit if i disconnect or remove the collector terminal and emitter terminal that means i can disconnect the transistor q1 and q2 from our original network okay If I remove the transistor Q1 and Q2 from our original network, our rest of the circuit will look like this. Now you will see this 5 volt will be applied between this terminal to this ground terminal. But to keep the transistor Q3 in forward bias or in on state, I need only a voltage greater than 0.7 volt. That means I can expect that a voltage greater than 0.7 volt will be applied between this base to emitter terminal because we are applying 5 volt between this terminal to this terminal some portion of this 5 volt will be dropped across this r1 of 1 kilo ohm and rest of them will be dropped across this base to emitter terminal so our transistor q3 will be in on state when a transistor is in on state we can connect the collector and emitter terminal because when a transistor is in on state or in saturation their collector and emitter terminals act like a closed switch therefore our output will be nearly equal to 0 volt which i have shown you in this multimeter and which implies that our output will be at logic 0 now consider the second case 0 1 that means this terminal will connected to ground and this terminal will be connected to 5 volt when this terminal will be connected to 5 volt let me run the simulation you will see our output voltage will be equal to 5 volt that means our output will be at logic 1 now let me describe how does that happen when this terminal is at logic 0 that means the base to emitter junction voltage will be equal to 0 volt as base to emitter junction voltage is less than 0 0.7 volt that means the transistor q1 will be in off state when a transistor is in off state that means its collector and emitter terminals will act like an open switch that means i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal of the transistor q1 that means i can remove the transistor q1 from our given circuit if i remove the transistor q1 you will see we have only transistor q2 so when i will apply 5 volt between this base to ground terminal or base to emitter terminal as the voltage is greater than 0 0.7 volt therefore its base to emitter junction will be in forward bias so our transistor q2 will be in on state and when a transistor is in on state its collector and emitter terminals act like a closed switch 
so I can short the collector and emitter terminal okay therefore you will see there will be a total short circuit between this point to this ground terminal that means we have a voltage equal to zero volt between this terminal to this terminal and you will see this voltage will be applied between the base to emitter terminal of the transistor q3 when the base to emitter terminal voltage will be reduced to zero volt our transistor q3 will be in off state and when a transistor q3 will be in off state that means its collector and emitter terminal will act like an open switch that means i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal therefore the collector current ic in the circuit will be equal to zero therefore there will be no voltage drop across this r2 that means our ic3 r2 drop will be equal to zero volt that means the 5 volt we are applying between this terminal to ground terminal will be appeared across this terminal to this ground terminal see this is our ground terminal therefore our multimeter will show a rating of 5 volt which implies that for input combination of 0 1 I will get logic 1 at the output now consider the third case 1 0 that means this terminal will be connected to 5 volt source and this terminal will be connected to ground terminal in that case our output voltage will be equal to 5 volt that means for 1 0 our output will be at logic 1 now let me describe how does that happen see this terminal is connected to ground terminal that means the base to emitter junction voltage of this transistor is equal to 0 volt as the base to emitter junction voltage is less than 0 0.7 volt so our transistor q2 will be in off state when the transistor q2 will be in off state that means its collector and emitter terminals act like an open switch that means i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal of the transistor q2 from our network therefore i can remove the transistor q2 from our given circuit because its collector and emitter terminals act like an open circuit now we have only transistor q1 at the input so at this terminal i am applying 5 volt that means the base to emitter junction voltage is equal to 5 volt as the voltage is greater than 0 0.7 volt so our transistor q2 will be in saturation or in on state so when this transistor q1 will be in on state that means its collector and emitter terminal will act like a closed switch therefore i can short the collector and emitter terminal or i can connect the collector and emitter terminals with a short circuit therefore you will see the voltage difference between this terminal to this ground terminal will be equal to zero volt because we have total short circuit and uh, this voltage will be applied between this base to emitter terminal of the transistor q3 as the voltage is reduced to zero volt therefore our transistor q3 will be in off state so its collector and emitter terminal will act like an open switch so i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminals from our given network therefore the collector current of the circuit will be equal to zero therefore our voltage drop through this r2 which i will denote that with i3 r2 will be equal to zero that means the 5 volt that was applied between this terminal to this ground terminal will be appeared across this output to ground terminal which i have shown you in multimeter was equal to 5 volt which implies that logic 1 for input combination of 1 0 consider the last case for input 1 1 this terminal will be at 5 volt and this terminal will be at 5 volt see our output will be equal to 5 volt that means for 1 1 our output will be at logic 1 now let me describe how does that happen see when this terminal will be at 5 volt and this terminal will be at 5 volt that means both of the transistors q1 and q2 will be in on state that means both of their collector and emitter terminals will get shorted because when a transistor is in on state their collector and emitter terminals act like a closed switch so you will see we will have total short circuit either at this path or through this path that means i will get a zero volt between this base to emitter terminal of the transistor q3 so our transistor q3 will be in off state so when this transistor will be in off state that means its collector and emitter terminals get disconnected from our circuit 
so its collector current will be equal to zero therefore the voltage drop across this r2 will be equal to zero that means this 5 volt will be applied or appeared between this terminal to this ground terminal which, which i have shown you in the multimeter which was equal to 5 volt which implies that for logic 1 1 our output will be equal to at logic 1